What's up guys, AJ's Builds here. This is part three of the E46 subframe reinforcement. Today, I will be welding in on this part three video the reinforcement plates. Um, what I did so far was I just ground everything down um, and I left about a half inch around all the plates so that I don't burn any undercoat or anything, so I'll show you that. Um, after cleaning off the undercoat, I found one crack on the left rear, which is the one that gets the most load. Um, so I'm gonna drill an eighth inch bit hole on the end of the crack on both ends and then bead weld that up, grind it down smooth and then put the plates on. So this tutorial in the part three is a step by step on welding those plates in. Um, if you guys want to see parts one and two, there will be a link at the end of this video. Uh, let me get a close up here so I can show you guys. So here's the crack. I don't know if you can really see it on the camera. So I'm gonna drill eighth inch here and here to um, stop the crack from spreading, bead weld it up, grind it smooth and then put my reinforcement plates on. So I have all of my points ready to go. I don't have any cracks in the front anywhere, luckily. I got them cleaned up the best I could. There's a little bit of surface rust starting on some of them. But again, you want to clean them up the best you can. Um, so I'm going to start getting ready to weld them. I believe I'm going to weld these front ones first. Okay, so the plates, they, uh, the kit comes with two bolts. And those bolts are used for your lineup. So I'm going to put the bolt in as my lineup here. And that will, you're going to just get it snug. You don't want to crank it down. You just want to get it snug. And that will help you position the plate so that you can start welding and you don't have to worry about it moving on you. So I got that position where I want. Now let me get a close up and show you. So right here is where the russet weld is supposed to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get a bit and I'm going to drill through this first plate. After I drill through this first piece of um, sheet metal, then I'll be able to weld the russet. So let me go grab my drill for that. So you're going to get your half inch bit and you're going to weld, ugh. All right, so with your half inch bit, you're going to drill through the first outer layer of sheet metal. You don't want to go all the way through. You just want to go through the first layer in this rust hole. Going through the first layer, and then once you weld it up, you're combining all those sheets all the way through. Um, you're strengthening that, strengthening the brace there. So I'm going to go nice and slow. Till I go through. All right, so I'm gonna show you here. So I just got through. You can see there's like a slight mark or ring, which means you're into that second piece. And once you just barely get into that second piece of sheet metal, you're good. So I have that caught. And now I'm gonna start running my bead welds around. I'm gonna tack it up first. Um, so I have the bolt snug right where it needs to be. And now I am going to run my bead, run my bead down in here. Um, this lip is a little bit off. I'm just going to push it that way a little bit. But that should be enough to run a bead weld. I'm just going to clean off a couple little spots here now that I know where I want it exactly. Just got a little bit of undercoat here. And a little bit on this edge. All right. So now I have the first piece ready. So this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna have the bolt caught. You're gonna have it right where you want it to go. You're gonna um, run your bead all around the edge. You're gonna run your rus russet weld. I have that bolt caught so it's centered so I know that the um, subframe is going to go in nice and easy with my threaded bolt. So I will be end up putting in somewhere in this video the full description for the Turner Motorsports welding plates. I will give you the part number and everything and tell you guys where you can get that. And along with also the um, polyurethane bushings for the subframe, everything. I will have everything included with all the parts and all my different parts. I should have like a part three. I'm sorry, this is part three. I should have a part four and five. Um, probably gonna be five videos just to get this all finished. But anyway, now I'm gonna get into welding those plates. Let me get my welder all set up here.
I'm just gonna show you guys what those tacks look like. Make sure I had everything positioned correctly. So I put four tacks in all the corners and now I'm gonna fill that russet weld and I'll start throwing a bead weld around it. All right, so now that I have that side tacked up, I'm actually gonna get the other side ready and tacked and I'm gonna tack all the plates at once so then I can finish with a strong bead weld. So I'm gonna set that other one up now. And I cleaned up the end. Probably should get my helmet out of the way. So I cleaned up the ends so that it makes a nice weld. And then I'm gonna use the bolt that they give you here in the kit. The kit will come with that bolt. And you're going to catch it. And you're putting it on the inner side. So the bolt is gonna be on the inner side. This side is the one for the russet weld. You'll know because it's the only hole that really lines up on the chassis. So now I'm just looking to make sure everything looks pretty good and clean, which it does. So I'm gonna use my drill and I'm gonna drill for that russet. You wanna go slow, so you go just through the first coat. You don't wanna go too far through the first layer of sheet metal. All right, I'm just starting to see the other layer. You'll see it, it's, you can tell there's a ledge of the next piece. So I'm gonna go a little bit more so I can get a little better heat on that other piece in there. Okay. So that's good. So you're gonna make it, basically it's gonna look just like that. I don't know if you can really see it very well on the camera. And now I'm gonna tack this plate up and then I'll move to these and then fix the crack on the back one so I could then get the plates on the back. You guys want to make sure it's got a pretty good position before you start welding. You kind of want to be aligned with the contour. I'm just going to do the four corners. All right, so now I got these in, the center ones. Um, I got the bolts caught and I got a vice grip on just so it holds it right. And you're gonna want your positioning so that, um, you know, you don't have to force the bolts in, you want them nice and centered. So now I'm gonna put a tack on that. And we'll move to the next side after I tack this one. After you put you know, your first tack, just make sure those still move freely, the bolts, which they do. Okay, now I have my eighth inch bit, and I'm going to drill the end of where the crack started on both sides. Okay, so you can see the eighth inch bit is on the end of both cracks and now I'm gonna rush run a bead here. After I run the bead, I'll grind it smooth and I can put that next plate.
After I drill the holes, I then bead weld it down just to get rid of that split. And this is the main brace on the car you're gonna wanna look because it is a lot freer and it has the most load from the car. Being that the drive shaft turns to the right, it's gonna pull down on the left rear first. So this will tear, usually on all of them. So now I'm just gonna put the bolt in, put this plate on and tack it up and then move to the last one. So I'm gonna catch this one. And then I'm gonna grab my half inch bit again to do those russets. On this one there is two. So you're definitely gonna wanna do the two. And again, you'll see the change in the metal to know you went just through that layer, the outside layer of the steel. Now I'm just gonna make sure that, um, you don't wanna over tighten them because you just wanna snug it so that you know that it's like centered enough. So I'm gonna tap that one up. All right, I got that tacked up. We'll move to this side. All right, so I got this side. I'm gonna run these gusset weld holes again. Like I said, you want to make sure that bolt spins and comes out freely, which it does. And now we're just going to get to bead welding all the plates since I got them all tacked. Um, I'm out of time for today. I got to get back to work, but I have everything tacked up. On my next video, I will be um, probably already having these bead welded up. So I'll be showing you guys how to do the reinforcement plates on the inside of the trunk, which is going to be cutting on the trunk floor and you're gonna be actually welding inside here. Um, that Turner Motorsports kit comes with that. I'll be showing you guys that. I got the part numbers and everything. So this is the end of the part three. Stay tuned for part four. Um, I'll have the clips for one and two at the end of all my other videos, so you guys will be able to see the links to those. But this is AJ's Builds. I'll talk to you next time.